Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your tarot reading with the tarot room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today we're just going to do a general love reading. Let's see what's going on with the collective, what's coming through, what's going down, what we're talking about. Let's talk about you and love. We have photograph. Look at that photograph. All right, looking at your photos, missing you, making new memories, nostalgia. All right, well, let's see what's going on. Let's see who be checking out some old photos of you here, Kansa. Let's talk. Okay, it could be this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here, but this King of Pentacles could be a boss or somebody from work even. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Got some jealous energy here. Okay, uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. And Cancer, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. We start this with three people. <laughs> we have the Queen of Swords. We have three court cards to start your reading here, Cancer. And there's you. Hello, Kansa, getting all kinds of attention. All right, all right. So you're looking good, smelling good, feeling good. There's the Knight of Wands. What the hell's going on? This is all people in your reading. Okay, so there's the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, and there's the High Priestess. And there's the Six of Swords. Okay, there's the Ace of Swords. Heavy emphasis on a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got Cancer, Pisces energy here. All right, let's break this down, Cancer. Let's get into what looks like shaping up to be quite an interesting reading here. It looks like there might be a lot of people involved. Who is this King of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles? What is this King of Pentacles for Kansai? Who is this person? Queen of Swords. Okay, so someone you're mad at. And hey, man, someone's stuck on you and you might not. You There's a Three of Wands. Ooh, seven of Swords, a Six of Pentacles. All right, well, this King of Pentacles, someone you're mad at, Cancer, someone who was deceitful, whether they were a cheater, a liar, a stealer, an unreliable asmofo, this is somebody uh, you're not really pleased with. So the Knight of Swords, I instantly took jealousy from this person, and it very well could have been, but it might also be resentment and anger from you. Like, why are you calling me? Don't talk, talk to the hand. Don't talk to me. Um, but this person's stuck on you. But I feel like this is a person that at one point in your life you were uh, stuck on, meaning... Um, you want to be in a long-term connection with this person. They were someone important to you at some point in your life, Cancer. Yes, they were someone you were very happy with. And they were someone who betrayed you. And now they want to come back and do right by you. Ooh, okay, well, let's see how that goes. Let's see. <laughs> they might be dreaming. <laughs> There's a page of cups, but they're going to come back quite sweet, quite charming, um, quite um, kind of getting onto Cancer page, talking in ways that they know you're going to want to, you know, saying the things you're going to want to hear. Basically, they know you. I'll tell you that much. So, but they could be dreaming here. We're going to see because let's find out what this Knight of Swords is. What's this Knight of Swords energy here for Kansa? That is your energy. Okay. Yeah. I think you're a little, you're definitely angry that this, okay, wait a minute. Page of Swords. No, wait, that's Page of Wands. The Chariot, the World, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven. Yeah. It's like you're, I get this angry energy, like angry that they're reaching out to you, angry that they would have the audacity to talk to you after what they did. It's someone who's like, they stole $25,000 from you. And then they're like, oh, it's okay, baby. Let, let's just get over that. And you're like, what the fuck? You just stole $25,000 from me. I'm not just going to get over that. Um, it's kind of what I feel. And, and, and you're mad. Like, I'm sorry, Cancer, this is coming towards you. You're mad. This is you being mad that this person would have the audacity to reach out, to contact you. This is one... I'm going to say confident and brave ass soul because I don't really think you want to hear from them. Look at this guy. He's like, what are you doing talking to me? Look at her like off with his head. What are you doing talking to me? Uh, what are they coming to say here? <laughs> Why are they? What are they? What are they going to say? The Queen of Pentacles. That you're their soulmate. Whoa. Wow. Okay. They're coming as the king, and there's the queen of pentacles with the empress and the seven of cups. No one compares to you. Um, this is, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Could be grass wasn't greener on the other side. Is this person basically telling you the love of their life here, Cancer, and they want to be with you? They rec they're the divine feminine, divine masculine, if you're the dude here. Um, but they see you as the full package, the full deal. No one else compares to you. They might have gone somewhere else, but it ain't nothing like you. Um, and there's the nine of cups. Well, they're going to make you feel valued, appreciated. They're going to be doing a lot of flattering and complimenting. Uh, but, uh, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Because there's you, the empress, and you're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, motherfucker, I know. I know, baby. You don't got to tell me shit. I know. Um, and I know you were stupid for what you did back there, but you did it. So what's this Knight of, Knight of Wands energy here for Cancer then? What's this Knight of Wands energy? Let's 
seven, uh, oh no, six of pentacles. Oh, well, yeah, the seven did come up. <laughs> okay. Six of pentacles, the seven of pentacles in reverse, the two of swords, the eight of pentacles, the five of cups. I feel like it's just you saying, listen, you're unreliable. You were, you know, you weren't invested when I was invested. You know, it's kind of like you can't just ignore the way that you made me feel and the things that happened because cancer can't ignore that. And I don't really think cancer, cancer, I don't think you're interested in this. Um, I think you're mad. So just be aware that this person's coming through here to try and charm you, to try and talk you into taking them back. But we end this with the high priestess. So why is it that this is coming out? Because with the high priestess, I feel you don't talk to this person. Is this, is this coming out for closure? Why do you want cancer to be aware of this conversation? Why do you want cancer to be aware of this? Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Okay. The Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Cancer, Seven of Wands. This person's coming back because they're broke. This person's coming back because you, they need something from you. Um, this person might ask you for money. But if, if they don't have, that's why they're having the audacity to do this. So this person's run into some challenging times and they don't have any other options. I'm so sorry to say that. What the fuck? Um, so it's kind of like an energy of like, what, I, what do you want me to say? The two of wands, the nine of wands, and the page of pentacles. This person's really swallowing their pride here. Yeah, there's the world and the six of cups. This person's really swallowing their pride. They've hit some tough times and um, they're coming back at a, I'm going to say this person has hit rock bottom and they're hoping you can make them feel better. Um, how you deal with that is going to be up to you. I guess they just... Why is it that you want cancer to know that then? What do you want? Let me just get the advice. What do you want cancer to do? <laughs> What's the advice here? What, what was that? The ace of swords and the six of cups. Be honest. What, do you, what is the advice for cancer then? The moon. The five of swords. The chariot. Why does this page of cups keep coming out? And the star. Four of swords and the fool. I'm, we're, we're, we're some of you may be considering going back with this person because what I feel is it's like a, a very clear message of not accepting this person back into your life um, because they're not coming back with honorable intentions here. So I'm wondering if some of you were potentially considering it because of the because that page of cups keeps coming up. So I think they were saying all the right things, saying doing all the right things, saying all the right things, um, knowing what you want to hear, Cancer. Um, I think it's a little bit of a warning read. They... I mean, trust your discernment, trust your intuition when I say this, but this person's coming back because they need something from you and it's not just love and affection. And um, they want you to see that there's things you don't know. They definitely, they want you to, they don't, they want you walking away from this person. There's the eight of swords. There's something about this person that's going to, yeah, I think at one point they were your happiness, but they're not coming back with honorable intentions and they're going to hurt you. And there's you and the, I just saw the four swords, the queen of swords and the three of swords, or excuse me, the four swords, the queen of cups and the queen of three of swords. I'm all distraught because this person's coming back to hurt you, cancer. Um, they've hit rock bottom. They're in a desperate situation and they know all the things to say because I see you're mad and hostile, but for this to come out, some of you, they might pull on your heartstrings. They might pull on your compassion. They might pull on your empathy. They might pull on your big heart in order to get you to do what they want you to do. Um, and the message here is to not do that. <laughs> uh, that's like a warning reading. Yeah, four swords. Pull your energy back and really consider that, especially if it's like them asking you for money or something. Um, but whatever they ask for or whatever they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna squeeze it in there. You'll figure it out within you know quickly. Um, they really want you to use your discernment and pull your energy back. They really want you to move forward, Cancer. But this person's gonna try you drawing back into some kind of spider web, some kind of deceit. Um, and they really, yeah, there's the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to be drawing you, trying to get you to commit to them, to get back into your good graces here. But they don't come with honorable intentions. Like, look at this guy. I never really noticed it before. But look at him at that. I your money. Keep, they, they, it's like they got the, you got something that they want of value. And that's where their eye is. Their eye is not on love and affection, Cancer. So you have a manipulator coming through. So just be aware of that. And just be very emotionally intelligent. Because this person's going to try and pull on your emotions to get you to do what they want you to do interesting so we're gonna grab some oracles i want to see what they are gonna say and uh cancer we'll get back to the tarot here um oh spirit animal fell right out into my lap okay so freedom you must break out any of limitations that are holding you back i think it's this person so whether they are self-imposed or put on you by other people or society 
break free and run faster towards your dreams. And we have the ladybug. We have luck. Your goals are about to manifest in remarkable ways. So dreams are coming to fruition. Stop and enjoy this moment. It is important to let things flow at their natural pace and rest assured that in due course of time, your wishes will come true. All right. So what does cancer need to surrender to then when this person comes through here trying to manipulate them? What does cancer change? Okay. So the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health or relationship. If you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. Okay. I do want to grab the hidden truth here. What's the hidden truth when it comes to this person here? If they could say something that they're not saying that they want to say that they should, maybe they shouldn't. What would it be? Just being near you is intoxicating. And so many things remind me of you. Mm -hmm. They're going to make you feel very desired here, uh, Cancer. So let's just get down to it. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, 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 when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here. And when I say outcome, Cancer, let's see where you are in a month. Let's see how things are going. Let's see if this person is still here. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Ah, the Two of Cups is in reverse. That's what I like to see after someone like this comes through. Okay. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. Interesting. Okay, one more. That card fell on the ground, so you're going to have to hold on a moment. We have the Strength. Let me see what this card was. It actually fell upside down. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Well, let me tell you something, Cancer. This person did not get what they wanted. <laughs> um, so, and there's the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, I feel like you're the Queen of Pentacles here. Very stable, very nurturing, very caring. Could be a mother, father figure. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. No. No relationship, no money, no investment, no time. This connection is over. The Two of Cups is in reverse. And the Five of Cups they're going to miss you and they missed out on a great opportunity and they know that, but they came back with ulterior motives and they got caught. They got caught. There's a three of wands. You're just taking a step by step. Look at this little kitty cat day by day, step by step, step by step towards your happiness. But you're not going to let this person stop you from moving forward. You're not going to let this person pull you into their little web of deceit. Um, you're going to wait for something better when it comes to love, someone that you deserve. Someone who's eyeing you, not your money or not something that comes with you, right? You want someone who doesn't love the idea of you. They love you. Um, and that's what I got, Cancer. So I see you removing this person. I see you knowing your value, knowing your worth. I see you waiting for someone better. And I see you completely letting this go. They did not get what they wanted from you, which is a beautiful thing. That person did not have good intentions. Okay, Cancer. That's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. So, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm sorry you're dealing with the mofo like that. But I'm pretty confident that that's done and you won't have to deal with that person again. <laughs> so if you like my style and if you like your reading, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Cancer. I always, always, always appreciate your support. And let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What is the answer for Cancer? Ask a different question. All right. <laughs> Question number two, what's the answer for cancer? As long as you are ready. All right, cancer, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.